The inner planets of our solar system are known as terrestrial planets, meaning that they have solid surfaces. They are relatively small compared to the gas giants of the outer solar system. Here we see Mercury, Venus, Earth and its large moon, and the planet Mars, all shown at their correct relative sizes. Mercury and Venus have no moons. Mars two small moons would be difficult to see at this scale. The innermost planet is the planet Mercury, named for the speedy messenger god. It completes a revolution around the Sun in only 88 Earth days. It rotates very slowly, taking 57 Earth days to complete a single rotation. This combination of a slow rotation with a fast revolution means that it would take 176 Earth days from one sunrise on Mercury to the next sunrise. You could say that each day on Mercury is two Mercury years long. Being the smallest planet as well as the closest to the Sun means that most of Mercury's atmosphere has been boiled away into space. With virtually no atmosphere and no liquid water, Mercury shows a long record of the impact craters in much the same way as Earth's moon. The daytime side of Mercury is hot enough to melt lead, while the night side is one of the coldest places in the solar system. Mercury has the greatest range of temperatures of any planet. In 2011, the MESSENGER spacecraft began orbiting the planet Mercury, sending us a wealth of new information about this mysterious planet. Scientists are still sifting through all the new data, but there have already been many surprises, including Mercury's unusually strong magnetic field and a number of unusual surface features. One example are these strange spider-like lines radiating out from one of Mercury's craters. Special cameras aboard the MESSENGER spacecraft reveal unusual mineral deposits on the surface of Mercury, as well as evidence of past volcanic and seismic activity. Mercury is difficult to observe from Earth as it never strays far from the blinding glare of the Sun. On the other hand, Venus dazzles brilliantly for months at a time in our evening and pre-dawn skies. Only the Sun and Moon shine brighter. Venus has been named for the Goddess of Beauty. One of the reasons Venus shines so brightly is that the planet is entirely covered in bright yellowish-white clouds. It is nearly the size of Earth, and many have called it Earth's twin. Early astronomers wondered if there might be a tropical paradise hidden beneath those impenetrable clouds. Telescopes on Earth reveal that Venus shows phases similar to the Moon's, but surface details remain hidden beneath the clouds. Venus orbits the Sun inside the Earth's orbit meaning that the distance between Earth and Venus varies widely throughout the Venusian year. This series of photographs shows the appearance of Venus as it moves from a thin crescent to nearly full. Galileo used observations like this to demonstrate that Venus orbited the Sun rather than orbiting the Earth. Robotic spacecraft finally penetrated Venus's cloud cover using radar and other imaging techniques. The world that they revealed was a far cry from the tropical paradise once imagined. The surface of Venus is a nightmarish place covered in craters, volcanoes, mountains, and canyons. 
Despite being nearly twice as far from the Sun as Mercury, Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system, reaching temperatures of 900 degrees Fahrenheit. The sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide of its atmosphere trap the Sun's heat, causing a runaway greenhouse effect. One interesting discovery was that Venus, unlike all the other planets of the solar system, rotates backwards. This means that if you could see the Sun from the surface of Venus, it would rise in the west and set in the east. In the 1970s, the Soviet Union attempted to land several heavily armored robotic spacecraft on the surface of Venus. Those that survived did not last long. They were crushed by incredible pressures, burned by the extreme temperature, and buffeted by high winds containing mists of sulfuric acid. Moving beyond the orbit of Venus, we come to the largest terrestrial planet. Planet Earth is only slightly bigger than Venus, but the conditions and appearance are vastly different. Gravitationally tied to the Earth is its relatively large single moon. The Earth truly is a water planet. From space we see oceans, clouds, and ice caps. No other known planet in our solar system has liquid water at the surface. And of course, so far, Earth is the only planet known to have life. The oceans are filled with it. And the continents are covered with it. It has plants. And it has animals, including one very special animal. Humans are just beginning to explore the solar system. A growing number of humans have traveled higher than the atmosphere to experience near-Earth space. From 1969 to 1972, a smaller number traveled a quarter of a million miles and paid a visit to our nearest neighbor in space, the Moon. The Moon was a harsh and desolate place with no atmosphere and extreme temperatures. We needed heavy-duty spacesuits just to survive. The moon was utterly dry and lifeless. And yet going there remains an important first step as humans begin to venture out into the universe. Many astronauts felt that the most stunning view from the moon was our own home world beckoning across the vast emptiness of space. The footprints left on the moon remain just as they were, untouched by wind or rain, waiting patiently for the next time humans will venture out. <laughs>